Hi, I'm Michael Carreyer, and this is Psych Exam Review. This is a practice question video where we'll look at 10 practice multiple choice questions related to language and cognition. And before we get to the questions, a few quick reminders. Always try to come up with your own answer first, so I'll pause after reading the question, but before showing the multiple choice answers. And you might want to pause the video if you need a bit more time to try to come up with your own answers. You want to be actively retrieving these memories as much as you can on your own. And then you can use the multiple choice answers to decide uh, which answer you think is best. And finally, make sure you also review any unfamiliar terms that are in the question, that are in the incorrect answer choices, or in the explanation. So I've tried to include as many terms as possible from the unit so that you can review everything with a small number of questions. Based on news coverage, Connor overestimates the frequency of child abductions and underestimates the frequency of credit card fraud due to the representativeness heuristic, conjunction fallacy, sunk cost fallacy, availability heuristic, or recognition heuristic. And this would be D, the availability heuristic. So due to dramatic news coverage, Connor can probably bring examples of child abductions to mind, while credit card fraud is much more common and thus less newsworthy. So this might cause him to underestimate its occurrence because he can't bring as many examples to mind, even though there are actually many, many examples. Tragic cases of children deprived of language exposure suggest the blank for language development is around age seven. Base rate, refractory period, mental set, critical period, heuristic. And this would be D, the critical period. The critical period for developing full fluency in one's first language is estimated to end somewhere around age seven or eight. Lacking exposure before this can result in persistent deficits in language use. Suffixes and prefixes, such as S to make a word plural or pre to indicate before, are examples of phonemes, phonological rules, morphemes, syntactical rules, universal grammar. And these would be examples of morphemes. Morphemes are small units of language which have meaning. Since these suffixes and prefixes change meaning when added to words, they're considered to be morphemes. The idea humans have a language acquisition device predisposing us to acquire language is most associated with Amos Tversky and Daniel Kahneman, Noam Chomsky, B.F. Skinner, Jean Piaget, or Benjamin Worf. And this would be B, Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky proposed that humans have a language acquisition device that other animals lack, which enables us to pick up on the rules and structure of language provided we receive sufficient exposure. Five-year-old Sarah saw a breed of dog she hadn't seen before, but recognized it as a dog by comparing it to her mental representation of a most dog-like dog, known as a mental set, prototype, algorithm, phoneme, wug. And this would be B, a prototype. A prototype is a best example of a concept or category. Prototype theory suggests that we identify members of a category by comparing these new instances to existing mental prototypes. Tom assumes the eccentrically dressed person he sees in a cafe must be an artist, even though professional artists are rare. Tom's assumption demonstrates The representativeness heuristic, the recognition heuristic, the conjunction fallacy, functional fixedness, hindsight bias. This would be an example of A, the representativeness heuristic. The representativeness heuristic suggests that we are likely to ignore base rates and rely on similarity to our prototypes when making decisions about group membership.
The object of a sentence tends to come after the verb in English, while the opposite is true in German, illustrating that languages have different phonemes, overregularization, exemplars, phonological rules, syntactical rules. And this would be E, syntactical rules. Syntactical rules determine how words and phrases are combined to express ideas. The specifics of these rules, such as the order of subjects, verbs, and objects, can vary in different languages. Prior to a taste test, 90 of 100 participants believed they would perform above average at recognizing their preferred beverage, suggesting belief perseverance, the availability heuristic, the sunk cost fallacy, illusory superiority, the framing effect. And this would be D, illusory superiority. Illusory superiority, or the Lake Wobegon effect, is a type of overconfidence in which the majority of people believe their abilities to be above average, even though this is statistically impossible. Around age four, Eric began saying things like, I ran to school, and she sitted on the floor, demonstrating syntactical rules, telegraphic speech, overgeneralization, mental set, functional fixedness. And this would be C, overgeneralization. Overgeneralization, or overregularization, refers to extending grammatical rules, such as add ed to a verb for past tense, to situations in which they don't apply. While this results in errors, it also reveals that young children can understand and apply grammatical rules. During art class, students were challenged to list all the possible ways of creating a portrait, an exercise that would rely on their convergent thinking, recognition heuristic, exemplar theory, fast mapping, divergent thinking. And this would be E, divergent thinking. Divergent thinking refers to coming up with multiple unrelated and often creative solutions to a problem or task, rather than focusing on finding a single solution, which would be convergent thinking. Okay, so that's the end of these 10 questions. I hope that you did well, but I also hope that they challenged you a bit. Make sure to review any terms that were difficult or unfamiliar to you, and share any questions or suggestions that you have in the comments. Thanks for watching.